you're, you're going to talk on something which I find rather extraordinary, that is that Australia has suffered this enormous drop. Australians have suffered a quite considerable drop in their incomes. What's that all about? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, look, it's a bit of a bit of a shock, actually, uh, uh, David. I think we've got a chart there to show it. But uh, basically, uh, Australia's real per capita household disposable income, and what that is, is basically if you take all household disposable income across Australia, which is measured by the national accounts, by the ABS, and then you adjust that for population, uh, income taxes paid, um, interest paid, and as well as inflation, it then gives you a real per capita household disposable income figure. And what that, what, what's actually happened is uh, Australia had has had the, one of the biggest drops in the world over a long period of time. We also had the largest drop in real per capita household disposable income in the world uh, in the year to September. So what happened was uh, our household disposable income per capita fell by 6.1% in the year, and that was by far the worst in the OECD. And what, what's basically happened is Australian real per capita household disposable income now has fallen to around 2012 levels. So we've effectively gone back roughly 12 years in our living standards, if you measure it that way. And um, just to make, make matters worse, David, uh, Australia's 6.1% um, fall in real per capita household disposable income compares to a 7.8% increase sorry, a 1.7% increase across the OECD as a whole. So we've actually underperformed the OECD average by 7.8% How does in that September, which is the most, which is the most, uh, you know, the, the, the most recent data we have. We will actually get more data early next month when the December quarter national accounts come out, but that's not expecting to show any improvement whatsoever. In that third graph, it shows other countries, that third table, and... Uh, yep. The interesting thing, I think, is in relation to the countries in the OECD closest to us, the UK and the US, and they seem to be doing better. They're going up. Well, pretty much. I mean, based on that chart, David, everyone's doing better than us. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, we're, uh, we, we, we are, we've, we've gone from, you know, a world leader uh, 15, 20 years ago to now a world laggard. Um, and look, 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 there are a few reasons for this. Uh, first and foremost, and this is what everyone probably realises, uh, is that Australia's wage growth, that's before you even adjust for inflation, has been amongst the very weakest in the world. So our wage growth has been worse than the UK, worse than the US, worse than the Eurozone, for example. At the same time, households have been smashed by, obviously, Australia's high inflation, which is you know comparable to elsewhere. But uh, more importantly, um, as we all know, the Reserve Bank of Australia has increased interest rates quite aggressively by 4.25%. Um, and while other central banks have increased by a similar rate, if not more, Australians are most sensitive to interest rate rises because in Australia, we have one of the highest shares of variable rate mortgages in the world. And what that means is that as the Reserve Bank has increased interest rates, um, that has flowed onto mortgage holders a lot more quickly than elsewhere. And it's basically meant that we've had less disposable income as a result. And there's one final factor, uh, which is very important, is that uh, Australians have suffered from an enormous amount of bracket creep in their personal income taxes. So in the year to September, uh, the total amount of income tax uh, paid uh, went up by 22.5%, whereas total household income, so this is also including population growth, only grew by 7.5%. So all those factors, uh, you know, mortgage, mortgage uh, repayments, um, taxes, sluggish wage growth, high overall inflation has basically contributed to Australia's world record decline in real per capita household disposable income and uh, collapsing living standards back to around 2012 levels based on this measure. 